there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we're doing a cold open, a look, a test of Constructor, a demo available on the PlayStation 4. You can easily pick up a copy of this and check it out for yourselves. But if you don't feel like doing that, why not watch me play it? So what I know about Constructor is that it's a remake of an older game. It's a city sim construction game based around corruption and... Uh, general uh, <laughs> misappropriation of funds as you actually take over a city. So let's see what we got. Psycho Dino. Okay. So um, I have I've never played the original game. I uh, don't know much about it. So let's take a look. Have I got a feeling that System 3 are well known for doing ports of things? Because I think I saw at least two Ninja Gaidens in there. God, it's a blob! It's eating me! Constructor! <laughs> There's our still frame, folks. So check it out. Constructor! Obviously. Um, I'm just actually taking still frames because it makes it easier for me to take a thumbnail, but... Corruption in the city, workers being buried by cement. Yeah, why not? Why not? I'm pretty sure that's what this is. So, uh, preview. Well, I'm assuming the preview is what we got. Play trailer. No. Hippie guide. Gangsters. Thugs guide. Thief guide. Mr. Fixit guide. What? Can I just play this? I'm assuming I'm playing through the tutorial. So the tutorial will give me the basics of what I need to know. This delightful. So, you think you can make it in the world of Constructor? <laughs> Your predecessor was not up to the job. You think you can cope with the demands of the city council and the mob? Let alone, Let alone those knowing tenants. Oi, I think you can. I'll get it in the neck if I don't explain some of the basics to you. Your ever important cursor is controlled using the left stick. You can push scroll the map by moving to the sides of the screen. Or you can use your right stick, because it's really obvious you can do that already! Well, there's no flies on you, are there? You can move the camera view around using the right stick on its own. Why don't you have a look around now? I'm getting dizzy! You can zoom right out by holding R2 and pulling down on the right stick. Well done. You're not as daft as you look. You can zoom back in by holding R2 and pushing up on the right stick. Cows! This is your HQ, center of all things important. You'd best protect it like it was one of your own. If this burns down, it'll be curtains for you, but don't worry. For you? In the yard. Well, at least I'll actually feed the cows. Picking your nose. Let's get going by selecting this geezer. Point your Giza. And press the X button. Hey? This is your foreman. You'll need him to build your property empire. He will instruct his own work team to do all the hard graft for you, whilst he files the risk assessments. And takes a profit. You can move him around by pointing where you want him to move to, and pressing square. Okay. And here they come. Your workers have finally got out of bed to do some hard graft. Send your foreman to the beacon we've just placed outside the HQ entrance by pointing and pressing the square button. His work team will always tag along. Right, oh! That was a long walk, wasn't it? Every foreman can have a work group of up to five workers. If you have a full group, they'll be far more efficient. So you'd better add two more workers to this guy's team. 
Select the flashing Work Team button and make the group up to five workers. Oi, there you go! Just give him a couple of slaps and a tickle and he'll be fine! Choose the flashing group selection icon to bring them together. Right Great home. job! You're getting the idea with these flashing icons. Now let's exit this screen. Right, enough of all this poncing about. Time to do some building. Let's start by placing your first building site. So let's head on over to the estate agent. And he'll tell us what it's worth fuck all! The lumber yard will be your first resource, which is handy for a plank like you. Get it up and running to supply wood for your future building. Try finding a legal position to place the site by moving the cursor footprint around. You can tell which land you own because it's glowing your team colour. Position the cursor over where you want to build. If the cursor is red, then it's not a legal position. The arrows show which direction the gate will face. Would you look at that! A brand spanking new building site! To view the site, press X whilst hovering over the footings. To start working on this building, bring your men onto the site. This can be done by simply clicking on the Call Work Team icon. Right Alternatively, you could just tell your foreman to walk his sorry feet over there. Watch them build! It's a real delight! If these guys keep up their day job, they'll gain experience and become much more reliable. Well, wasn't that grand? Congratulations! You have finished your first lumber yard. To restock it, move a work team into the building. The lumber yard will be your source of wood for years to come. Press X whilst hovering over the building foundations or click the new icon that's appeared on the left hand side of the screen. To speed up wood production, you can call a second team into the building. You've made enough of a racket, but now we've got enough wood to start building our next property. Go to the estate agent to see your new choices. There are now more choices of buildings you can create. Click on the Homes icon to see what's new. Ah, there we go. Homes. Okay, I got you. The three low-grade tenant houses. We want you to build a log cabin, which will fit neatly beside your lumber yard. You can change the selected building type by using the directional buttons. Press the X button to place site. Well, that one's squeezed in nicely. Now you need to call a work team to finish the job. If your teams are busy, click on your foreman using X and move him to the site Hello? by pointing and clicking square. Whilst people are inside a building, a flag appears outside. You can click on the base of his brown flag using X to select it. We should have this new house knocked up in no time. Done. Your first home has been completed and is ready to be rented out for the first time. Building a variety of types of houses would expand your choices in the future. Congratulations on your first tenant house, even if it is a bit naff. To look inside and choose a tenant, hover your pointer over the base of the building and press X. This place is obviously empty. To put a tenant in this house, click on the Appoint Tenant icon. There are five levels of tenant, from the riffraff to the toffs. I'm afraid you're scraping the bottom of the barrel at this stage. Take this dodgy looking pair. Whilst they have plenty of money, they don't breed quickly enough and they might damage your property. I think it's best we use the other couple will do exactly what we need. They'll breed like rabbits to create extra workers and tenants. 
They've moved in and made themselves at home. Don't you love what they've done with the decor? You can find out what these tenants like and don't like by clicking on their picture. These slobs are the lowest level of tenant that you can get. They're good for breeding quickly, are quite noisy and can cause problems for their neighbours. But as long as you don't annoy them, they can be fairly self-contained and don't expect too much in the way of luxuries. <laughs> Fucking hell. These are quite judgmental actual characters that are in this. Hover your point over each of the areas to find out more info. Use the directional buttons to move easily between icons. Currently, these guys are paying rents, but we need to expand our empire and breed more workers. Click on the worker icon to have them start breeding a worker instead. There you go. Your bundle of joy is on its way. This display shows you how long before your worker will report for duty at your age. That's a bit fucked. You tell people to actually breed a kid instead of paying money? Is that implying a thing about... A welfare state where like essentially if they keep making kids they'll have enough money to cover their costs that's a bit bedroom and deliver your children quicker i suggest you upgrade their bedroom click on the redecorate rooms button there are four rooms in this gas each of these rooms has a different benefit such as increasing life expectancy relieving stress reducing repairs and increasing which is what we need right now. Please select the bedroom. What a dump! There are several stages for each room that must be better than this. Select upgrade room to start redecorating. You will need to pull a work team inside the building to complete the upgrade. Your team has completed the new bedroom. Doesn't that look better? Hopefully it'll have the desired effect. Let's go back to the main screen and see how they are getting on. You will notice that the birth rate has improved. The faster the dial goes round, the quicker the next baby will appear. Just like in real life. They do slow down as they produce more children, but the happier they are, the quicker they breed, and more rent they are willing to pay. Everyone wants a nice garden to go with their house, so let's start by improving the fence. At the moment, you only have a limited selection of fences available. This tenant particularly likes the privet hedge. Please select and purchase it. Need to get those lazy workers off their tea break and out into the yard to do some more work. Please call them back out. Each fence has a different defensive ability, as well as being aesthetically pleasing for your tenants. That looks much better and will keep your tenant happy. Now let's leave the house and have a look around. The tutorial is actually being quite, um effective of getting me into the game but i'm not too sure about the the tone the pace of this is quite slow but it looks very entertaining um i do get the idea of it actually being almost a uh tower this is almost tower defense in its own way i think now we need to teach you how to look after your estates let's introduce you to one of our other characters the repairman Please select this fine gentleman over here. Are you kidding me? Your repairman's a right spanner. If you switch on auto repair, he will circle around all of your buildings on his current estate, repairing them one after another for you. Tidy. Alternatively, you can manually prioritise his work by moving him inside a particular building. Once the property is in immaculate condition, he will move on to his next job. Hello, hello. What's going on here? This dude looks like he's up to no good.
cheeky bastard. Stolen some resources from your site on Katie Swallow's estate. It might not be too late to catch him and get want? them back. He's disappeared down your tube station and he's to have stolen all your wood. You'll need to restock that place. Get one of your teams back inside your lumber yard. <laughs> Looks like something is kicking off in here. Let's have a look inside the house. Some people are never happy. They've sent a complaint letter to the council. Click on their heads to see what's wrong. Oi! Your factory's been going day and night. We can't stand the noise no more. Close it down for a bit or give us some double glazing. Some people... They're obviously not happy living next to a loud factory. Better keep them sweet by getting your work team out of there. Hey. Tea break. Your factory's been going day and night. We got they are obviously not happy living next to a loud factory. Better keep them sweet by getting your work team out of there. How do I get my work team out of there then? Who are I? Ah, there we go. Was easy to deal with. They're not always as simple as that. However much you have, it's never enough. I think you need to buy some extra land for your next building project. Please select the world map icon. Use the directional buttons to browse through the available estates or click on them directly. The larger the estate, the more expensive it'll be. Please select the Brompton Estate. Now, buy the estate. Clicking on the Buy Estate icon. Now we've got some more land. You can finally build your next home. Go back into your estate agent and see what's available. Alright, so I'm essentially getting the idea now. Um, really, the basics are... Okay. Oh. It will unlock more variety. Please select a simple lodge this time. Right. You can now place this lodge anywhere on your new estate. You will see that you can orientate the house by moving it closer to one side than another. Or you can cycle through the directions by pressing square. Once happy with the position, press X to place it. Now get those work teams on site to finish the building off. You need to put a tenant in this new lodge. Please use the swab tenants again, like before. Each tenant has a certain life expectancy. 
You have a limited number of tenants, so you must breed more, so they will be ready for when you need them later in the game. Please instruct your new tenants to breed a level one tenant. Well done. Now, to speed up the breeding process, you should improve their bedroom like last time. Please improve their fence to keep them happy. A picket fence would look very nice. OK. A larger garden will please your tenant more and make it easier to decorate the garden with objects. You can push out the edges of the plots by holding R2 and pressing the directional buttons. Once happy with the location of your Soweto hut, place it by pressing X. Now, get one of your work team on site to finish this building off. of your shacks, the council surveyor is going to let you build some proper housing after you've built the cement yard. This house now needs a tenant who will start paying us rent. We have a business to run and we need to make money. Please select the greaser tenants. Hello. It is possible to force tenants to pay more rent. Doing this will make them less happy, which may cause you problems, so be careful. Now, let's push their rent up by at least 25%. To make sure you keep track of what's going on in the world when inside a building, you can toggle the radar on and off by pressing R1. Have a go before you exit the house. To look after these new houses, please select the repair man. Move him to the Brompton estate and set him auto repairing. Hello. I think it's time to buy another larger estate to give you room to expand your empire. Hello. Please buy the Beaverbrook Estate on the world map screen. After building all the level one tenant houses, you can now build a cement factory on your new plot of land. Select the cement factory via the estate agent and build this now. Now it's time to finish the building off. Get one of your work teams on site and start building. has been finished and is now up and running. Now start some real buildings. We ought to get another one of them repairmen circling this estate, but we don't have any spare. Here's how to knock out new ones in your HQ. If you click on the HQ icon in the top left using the square button, it will scroll the map to its location. Alternatively, using the X button will take you straight inside. This is your HQ screen, which allows you to monitor how many people and tenants you currently have or are in production. 
In here, you can also convert workers into other characters. Convert three spare workers into a repairman by clicking the icon. Now, set this new repairman to auto repair on the Beaverbrook estate. need a gadget factory to start manufacturing products to keep your tenants happy. Select the gadget factory and place it on your new estate. Now, get one of your work teams on site to finish this building off. You don't have enough resources to finish the building. You will need to send a work team back to the resource to restock it before work continues. Your factory has been completed, allowing houses and gardens to start being improved. Gadgets for houses, such as computers, to create the next level of tenants will soon be available. The Gadget Factory can be accessed by either clicking on its footprint or by clicking on the Gadget Factory icon on the left. Hello. Welcome to your Gadget Factory. The game does seem to drag on with the tutorial. I mean, I can understand why the uh, basis of it gets a little bit faster with um, experience, which is the same for any strategy sim, I suppose. Um, I'm just kind of like getting to the point now where Obviously, there's a lot more to be seen here, but I'm not actually kind of getting intrigued in it, so I might just kind of call the day with this game, because um, obviously there's plenty of things to do, and uh, the this is an evolving... You will need to call a work team into the building to complete the production. Okay, yeah. No work team's available. Yeah, um, I'm not too excited to uh, continue on playing this. Because a constructor obviously has a lot more detail to it. There is combat involved with the defense of your buildings. And I might actually come back and put together a much more fast paced. Uh, money to shoot. What? Mine doesn't grow in trees, alright. I'm interested in a fast paced kind of uh, game, I suppose. But this one's actually going to be a little bit more entertaining. The watch rather than uh, watching me or stock. <laughs> well, there you go. That's it still done. Once you have placed all the objects that you wish to, press circle to exit the mode. Oh, yes. I can smell their green fingers from here. Now return to the gadget factory to see what else will improve your tenants' lives. Are you serious? Koki Koki 2000 is a state-of-the-art personal computer which will enrich child education. Build lots of computers so we can start producing better tech. <coughs> I'm, I don't know if I'm actually... I'm, I'm getting interested in the concept. Uh, but the tone and the method of the game just kind of like pushes me a wee bit further away. It, it feels like, a, because of this being a tutorial, its pace is so glacially slow that um, its charm is being lost by its... Uh, ...which will enrich child education. Build lots of computers so we can start producing better tenants. Now, let's get one of these delivered to your posh Soweto hut. Select the deliver button to have your delivery guy personally oh. transport it. Target the Soweto hut and press square to begin the delivery. Fly 
bargain play. Let's go inside and check the gadget screen to see if they turned it on correctly. I mean, it's just layer after layer of this. See the 256 colours in all their glory. Gadgets can also be collected by the tenant himself to avoid waiting for a delivery. Now, with the computer installed, this property is able to produce next level tenants. Please select the level 2 tenant birth oh, I've always wanted a bungalow. Get your work team on site to build it. Looking at this, going, is that a red? Halted. An enemy spy has wandered on site. We need to get rid of him as soon as possible. Your workers can attack any enemy character. Select one of your workers and then hover over the enemy and press square to attack. Team Alternatively, break. you can select multiple Team characters break. by lassoing them. Hello. Hello. Take them all down. Now to just finish off the building. Okay, so since you, you just attack. Now, time to get an appropriate tenant for this little box. Select either of the level two tenants, punks or students. Listen, you. Listen, you. These guys will happily pay their rent every month. But there are quicker ways of making money. Let's step outside for a chat. Things in Constructor aren't always above board. A good way of making money is to steal someone else's hard-earned assets and then sell them quickly before someone comes knocking. To take over a property, first select one of your foremen. Now, take your foreman and his team to the beacon outside the gate of the enemy house by hovering over the <coughs> and pressing square. Right okay, so this is actually showing what happens now whenever you go to take over a place. Interesting. your foreman at this house by hovering over the footprint and pressing square. Once he has demolished the entire fence, the house will be yours. Right. So you destroy fences, okay. Oh dear. Mario, the enemy's cousin, happens to be in town and he doesn't look happy. I think he might be saying hello to his little friend shortly. I walked you into that one, I'm afraid. It seems it's not always oh, that easy. Hopefully they can put it back together. Luckily these foremen are a bit like cats, although without nine lives. We're obviously going to need some underhand tactics of our own. Time to introduce you to the undesirables. We now have access to the hippie commune, home of the half-wit. Let's get one of those knocked up quick smart. These undesirable abodes take quite a lot of resources. So make sure you have enough and get your work team on site.
take a look inside the hippie commune. On the base of the building. You seem to have got the lazy bugger out of bed. You can choose what to use him for by clicking on the pictures. Let's have us a street party. You can go at this dimwit by pointing where you want him to walk to and pressing square. Let's start a party outside the house to distract his people. When the cursor goes green, you can select the hippie's target position. He's a bit slow, I'm afraid, but he'll get there in the end because undesirables are not allowed on the tube network. You can track his progress by selecting the hippie and clicking on the follow icon. The camera will follow him all the way. Oh, great. So we got this now. We've got a reason to actually like, slow the game down even more. No reason that I can't just go and play something else. Do something else, please. Jesus. Uh. Let's see if there's any way to pick up the speed. You can track his progress by selecting the hippie and clicking on the follow icon. The camera will follow him all the way. Happy, happy days. Mmm. Right, so um, obviously Constructor itself is a fun looking game. It's got the plenty to go for it. It's city building 101. You know, it's it's like a, a tongue in cheek team buddy slash tower defense slash sim city game. And that's actually not too bad. Please select a foreman and target the house using square. <laughs> I <laughs> like his street party. Very effective. You can speed up the process by using multiple foremen. And you can use your workers to ward off anyone who tries to stop. Alright, so if you bring the workers in, you can actually have them there to actually kind of block off anybody else. Makes sense. That's fair enough. It's like really obvious that I'm going to end up actually having um, this building attacked while I'm doing them. Because they're building away at places while I'm sitting here waiting for this to finish. Which is ridiculously slow. Well, of course, this is a tutorial, so there's a reason why it's doing it the way it is. You successfully took over that house. You should sell it now to make a quick buck. Go inside the house and click on the sell. Right, so I think I've spent enough of my precious time trying to teach you the ropes. You, my son, need to step up to the mark and take over day-to-day -day running. Now get a wriggle on and get some of the available houses built. I'll be in touch. Don't call me. I'll call you. <laughs> Kids these days. They're beating up my fucking houses. How the hell did I stop them? Wow, I have no idea what's going on. There's too many of them. Where's all my workers? Uh. Jeez. Okay, so that's the point they're trying to make. <laughs> Bad luck, your HQ was blown to smithereens, sweet dream sucker. So yeah, that is actually the... Sweet dream sucker. <laughs> that's the, pretty much the intro to Constructor that um, you had to try and survive. A loser, rest in peace. <laughs> Carried away by Abraham Lincoln and his friends. <laughs> ah, how charming. So yeah, guys, this has actually been uh, Constructor. 
It's a bit tone deaf, it's a bit hilarious. Oh, am I still alive inside the coffin? <laughs> oh, man. That's even more terrifying. Ugh. You scary sons of bitches. <laughs> Alright, so this has been Constructor, guys. Um, I know this like, this went a lot longer than I wanted it to because I thought the tutorial would be a much faster experience, but obviously there's a lot to be seen, a lot to do in the game. Uh, if you want to check it out, I highly recommend it. It's available on the PlayStation Store on both European and American accounts at the moment, so you can pull down the demo and check this out for yourself, but there's not really much more to see. Um, the play game is now available, so I can actually go and play the full game after checking out that tutorial, so uh, I'd recommend checking it out for yourselves and kind of figure it out if you can get into the SimCity-esque environment of blowing up and building your own city against a rival gang. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you actually enjoyed the see enjoyed me what playing through Constructor and enjoy enjoyed the actual game footage and enjoyed what they show in the tutorial. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure to hit the subscribe button up here at the top. Thank you very much for doing so, and hit any of the follow buttons that go along with this, if it matters on whatever way you manage to see this. And if you don't end up doing that, uh, make sure to search for Passage of Skin. I'm easy to find. I'm not doing very. I'm not very hidey. I'm not very hidey. I'm not trying to be anywhere else. I'm trying to put stuff out for you guys to see. So thank you very much for actually sticking around. And of course, you can always do the YouTubes over here on the side where you can actually check out cold opens and new stuff that's actually being posted here on the channel. And of course, on the far side, a video selected just for you that's done by the Google Analytics. So that one is the one that you should actually be checking out. This one over here. It'll be uh, specifically for your interest from whatever I've done previously. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.